Today's video, we're going to go through all the maps that are currently in one Arm Robber, and I'm going to give them a ranking from F being the worst and S being the best. And I'm also going to give you some insight to the maps, like their estimated takes, their difficulty, their annoyances, and some of the benefits to them. So without further ado, here we go. The first map we're going to start with is the classic, the jewelry store heist. Estimated take is forty to $80,000. The difficulty is easy, and the main loot in this heist is jewelry, like rings, watches, necklaces. You can also find some money in the vault area and two gold bars in there. I would say this is a nice starter map, and if you're only going for the loot in the vault area and not the loot in the front of the store, this heist can be almost done in two minutes. And you can keep repeating this process until you have a nice slump sum of money. And whether you're a free player or a paid player, I would say this map is the best way to get XP towards levels and skills. And since you get a lot of XP from using tools like lock picking and hacking tools, and since this map, the front of the store specifically, has 24 locks on it, you can get a lot of XP from this map. If you want a more in-depth video of going over how to get XP in this game, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check out my video on it and because of all this i would give the jewelry store an s rating making it the perfect mat to start with which moves on to the next heist the liberty hawk bank estimated take is 70 to ninety thousand dollars. the difficulty is easy and the main objective is money you can get bonds and gold in this heist the heist is simple and can be done super quickly especially with tools like the hacking device where you don't even have to leave the first floor of the bank to go up to the second floor to get the vault key card and when you go to loot the vault there's a nice loot cart waiting outside the vault area so that way you can make use of it to make one trip back to the truck with all the loot sadly there's not that many points to gain super amounts of xp like in the jewelry store heist but it's nice to see new scenery so i would give the liberty hawk bank an a rating which moves on to the next heist the pegasus museum of art estimated take is ninety thousand to one hundred and ten thousand dollars. difficulty is medium and your main loot is an art painting and art sculptures i would say this heist is a little bit more difficult than the previous two but it can be kind of simple depending on what skills you have leveled up i would say this is the first heist where you have to actually demonstrate Straight patience. Waiting on guards to complete their routes, make sure you do the check ins on time, all that jazz. Like the Liberty Hawk Bank, the museum heist has a loot cart in the art exhibit, which you can use to take all the art pieces back to the truck. The only problem is the art pieces are kind of weird and wonky shaped looking, making it hard to stack on the cart to take it back to the truck. Now this heist will take longer than the previous two and you can probably complete the other heists two to three more times than this one and get the same amount of money or even more. And because of that, I'll give the museum heist a B tier. And the next heist we're going to talk about is Lundenberg Liquors. Estimated take is 90 to $140,000. Difficulty is hard and I put that in quotation marks so you'll find out later. And your main loot in this heist is wine. This map is really easy to do if you know what you're doing. You can actually take out all the guards that will get alerted if you destroy cameras if you take out the two guards in the liquor store and the one in the back alley and do the check-ins and you don't have to worry about the guard in the security room i think what makes this heist hard is you have to take every bottle back to the truck even the ones in the liquor store itself and the ones in the vault area also you have to disable the lasers for each of the doors which if you don't know the codes by heart can take a little bit longer trying to flip the right switches for the right door and even though it's a free map and has new elements added to it i would give Lundenberg liquors a d tier i do not play this map unless i really want to if I'm really strapped for cash i would do one of the other three heists that we just talked about before i actually attempt this heist it just takes forever to take all the wine bottles back to the truck which moves on to the final free map the orbital bank heist and your estimated take is 120,000 to 175,000. difficulty is medium and your main loot is money gold and bonds this feels more like your traditional bank a lot of guards everywhere and a lot of civilians everywhere i would say this is the most difficult heist of all the free maps since the update where they add more guards to it and have the routes changing and since the addition of more guards you definitely have to have a lot of patience when you're doing this heist like the liberty hawk bank and the museum heist there's a loot cart in the vault area that you can use to take the loot back to the truck i would say before the update i would give the orbital bank heist a b tier but now after the update i would give it a d tier i would rather do one of the four other free heists before i do this heist yes i would rather do lundenberg liquors than this heist and now we're moving on to the first of the paid maps the black diamond casino heist estimated take is 150 to 350 thousand dollars difficult D is hard and your main loot for this heist is a little bit of everything poker chips money packages watches and wine bottles this either has to be one of or even the biggest map in one arm robber it's a nice and fresh heist design and with two vault areas to be looted you can take a whole lot of loot back to the truck also all the slots in the casino area can be played and you can win chips making this heist essentially unlimited money but since there's so much loot that can be taken back to the truck and all the slots are playable and you can win chips from them the game's frame rate can take a massive hit when you're taking all the loot back to the truck though also to loot everything you have to take a civilian penalty no matter what to unlock the lower vault area so right there you're minusing 10k from your total profits and because of all this i would give the black diamond heist casino a c tier 
And the next heist we're going to talk about is the Rodman Research Facility. Estimated take is $160,000 to $190,000. Difficulty is hard. And the main loot in this is beakers. The first con of this map is having to wait to turn the beakers from blue to pink, making this heist take longer than it needs to be than the other heists. But even though it's a con, I would say this is a pro because it's refreshing and different than the other heists. And just like the jewelry store heist, this map makes for good XP since all the beakers are behind locked doors for a total of 9 locks to unlock. And because of that, the Rodman Research Facility is a B tier. And now we're moving on to the FIA office heist, which estimated take is $100,000 to $150,000, difficulty is hard, and your main loot is documents, hard drives, and there's some statues that can be taken. With this heist, you need extreme patience, since there's so many guards around, it's kind of intimidating. But after getting the guards patterned down, and with the help of some of the tools that you get later, like the hacking tool, you can be in and out of this heist super fast, and you can make a quick $150,000 with only loot in the vault area. Though to get all the loot stealthily, like the statues in the front half of the FIA office, you have to go through some hoops and it's kind of a pain to get all the loot there'll be a link in the description to my video of getting all the loot stealthily in the fia office and with this i would give the fia office heist an a tier and last but not least we have the esco bar heist estimated take 150 to 200 thousand dollars difficulty is medium and your main loot is packages and money i would say in terms of getting money fast the esco bar heist is the clear winner of all the paid heists and even the free heist once you have it down and have some of the tools that you get later in the game like the hacking tool and the battering ram you can run through the this heist super fast and earn a nice two hundred thousand dollars in five minutes and depending on the path you take there's enough check-ins so you don't have to worry about any guards throughout this entire heist and because of this i would say escobar heist s tier and this was a ranking of all the maps that are currently in one arm robber what do you think about that leave a comment in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow if you want to see a funny video click the video on the left if you want to see more informative videos click the video on the right and like always i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video